Yeah, oh boy. Ooh, you gotta be careful coming down the stairs. Please do. I mean, not only for, you know, like, the fact that you should always be careful going down stairs, but then also because of, like, a history. <laughs> and I'm... A history. I've had, I've had a history on those stairs. Hi, everyone. I'm a little... I'm a little worn out. Welcome to, uh... Thursday. Thursday. I got there. Oh, man. So, um, we've been walking every day. That's been a change. I've talked about it a little bit. Um, we, we, we had been walking a few times a week. Now we're walking every day. And now, now we're walking for 30 minutes. Like, that very explicitly 30 minutes. Uh, before, before it, it could vary. Um, sometimes 20 minutes, and then sometimes, uh, you know, we just take a little stroll around and do like 12 minutes. We'd be like, okay, but now it's like, no, it's 30 minutes. And um, I can handle that pretty well. Um, and we're trying to make sure that we go out when it's not super hot. But today, I, I definitely messed up. Because um, I hadn't really had enough food today when we went to take our walk. So I got like 18 or 20 minutes into the walk and my body was like, you hungry? You so hungry? And I was like, I'm hungry? And it was like, mm-hmm. You really hungry? And now, because I have not had food, you must break into a cold sweat and start shaking. And I was like, oh... So that was fun. Um, never felt weak or anything. It wasn't like I have a problem walking half an hour, but um, that 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 was not good. So I should really be a little more mindful because um, it was basically like a pre-dinner walk. So it's been the, the longest amount of time between my last meal, and I haven't been snacking on anything today. Sometimes I'll have a little snack or something that I take upstairs, and I didn't do that today, so... I'm going to have to be really mindful about that because it was a pretty terrible feeling. But when I walked in the door, I, I ate a granola bar. And then I, I shoved a few pretzels in my mouth and I was like, okay, now I'm ready to, to make dinner. And uh, dinner tonight, we're doing chicken teriyaki, which is nothing new. We've done chicken teriyaki before, but there's a uh, an appetizer. It's an appetizer. It is. It's exciting. And it's uh, it's something from Costco. That is frozen, so we will, you know, possibly make a recommendation to you today. Depends on how these things are. They're, uh, oh god. This is, uh, Ling Wang Asian Kitchen uh, pot stickers, pork and vegetable. So we've had frozen pot stickers before, um, varying degrees of success. Uh, so we're gonna find out today if these are worthwhile. And hopefully we'll eat them sooner rather than later because I'm still very hungry. Well, they look all right. Mm -hmm. Question is how they taste. There was a few different like methods of cooking. And I did the one that was recommended where you put it in the pan. You're trying to get that on your plate. I was, so I didn't spill it everywhere. You put it, you put it in the pan and you add water and then cover it so you're steaming it. Yeah. And then whenever the water is gone and it's got you know some color on the bottom then it's ready it's all right okay mm -hmm. well, that's they're good. hot are they mm -hmm. my dad and Rhonda recently made these from scratch i mean that would be delicious mm -hmm. that's just it's just a lot of work They're not terrible. They don't have a whole lot of flavor like on their own. Yeah. Like the sauce. The sauce almost certainly. Is necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're certainly they're certainly nowhere close to the best pot stickers I've ever had, but for, you know, doing them at home, they're pretty good. But the, the pot stickers themselves they don't the consistency and texture is fine, but they don't have a lot of taste at all. All the taste is coming from the sauce, so keep that in mind that 
if you get these, you're gonna have to really rely on sauce, or if you want to do maybe your own, because these are, I like these with uh, with soy mm -hmm. personally. So if you have soy sauce at home, these would be fine too. In retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have made so many pot stickers, but I mean, it's fine. Now that we've had our appetizer, the rice is done, which already I'm like, oh god, we're, we've made a lot of food. Although this will be left over so that we can eat tomorrow, so it's not a big deal. Uh, Mal is working on the... It smells like ginger, it's so good. I was working on the chicken for the chicken teriyaki. And uh, actually, when we had made those mushrooms a while back, uh, that we had to rehydrate, it gave us some mushroom juice, and Mal wanted to try that out today, so that's gonna go in there. In there yeah. And it's also loud in here because we have both the dishwasher and the uh, washing machine going. But that's okay. Stuff's getting done. This is not a terribly big serving. We normally um, put stuff in bigger bowls. But, you know, there's really no reason to, uh, to give ourselves a lot of extra food since we're already, you know, we already had excess pot stickers. But now this, uh, this came out really good. Yeah. It looks really nice. Ses the sesame seeds are a nice touch too. But wait, there's more. We've already had so much good food today. It's been a while since we've actually eaten. <laughs> well, yeah. They don't know that. It just <laughs> no. goes from one food to another. They think we just are, we, we live at the Golden Corral. But we don't. Um, a while ago, was it, what was the? It was my birthday. It was your birthday. Yes. That's what it was. I was like, why did we get all this food? Um, Mark and Rhonda had sent us um, some brats, and then also some Kringle. There were four different Kringle. We are finally on our last one. We've tried apple, we've tried walnut. Raspberry. And raspberry. Um, and it was uh, almond, not walnut. Oh, almond. Almond was actually my favorite. Almond was actually my favorite one. So we're on to the last one, and that is... Pecan. Pecan. Are you cutting it into four... That's what we did with the last ones. That is a that is a lot of you know what it's fine. That's just a pretty looking dessert, to be honest. How is it, Mal? Really good. Is it? Mm hmm Like really, really You're good. Really like it. If the, you liked the almond one. Oh, I am super excited. That's really good. It is very similar to um the almond one. Mmm. Those are just a good little treat. They are. I mean, if you cut it into quarters, then it's... A big treat? It's a big treat, really. Yeah. I'm fine with it. We gotta get through this because... Um, we need the freezer space. That's a good reason. That's why I thought it. That's a better reason than I was gonna say, and that was to make room for the Rice Krispie treats that my mom brought over the other day that are ch chocolate and salted caramel. How you even make that... I don't know. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with black magic. But bless her for making some of those <laughs> for us. But yeah. Yeah, we probably should continue to walk 30 minutes a day. How on earth are we going to get through all this dessert? That's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?